Dear parents and students, on behalf of the team here in Colossia Ciaran, I'd like to welcome you to our senior options presentation. Normally, this is an event which we host in the school. However, as with so much over the past year, we've had to change and adapt the way we deliver these presentations, while also ensuring that we meet the needs of our students wherever they may be on their journey. Throughout this presentation, our team will talk to you about the various pathways that lie before you when it comes to your senior options. We want you to know that we're here to help, support and guide you wherever you may be in making your decision. Some of you may already know where you want to go with relation to your senior options. However, most of you will still be in the process of making that decision. Wherever you are, I hope that you find the information here helpful and supportive. Over the coming minutes, our team will talk to you about the various components of our senior cycle program. We encourage you to listen to this and to see which one applies best to you. Over the coming weeks, you'll be sending in application forms and telling us where it is you want to go. We will be here to help and guide you through that process and we hope to hear from you in the coming weeks. In this presentation, different members of our team will take you through the various aspects of our senior cycle programme in Colossus de Chiron. When making your decision, a good place to begin is to have a discussion with your parents or guardians about some ideas you have regarding where you see yourself at the end of your senior cycle. When you have a clearer picture of where you see yourself, you can then look at which of these choices will help you best to reach that goal. The different sections outlined here in the presentation will outline how our school community can help you and support you in working towards that goal. In order to facilitate you in making your decision, we have designed a timeline which will give you the space and time you need to make your decision. During this time, our team will be available to take any questions or queries you may have. We ask that you pay close attention to the deadlines which are applicable to each section of this programme, and this will help us to ensure that we have the options laid out in a timely manner for everybody. At this stage in your post-primary education, you are approaching the end of your junior cycle and you now have to decide which path you will take in your senior cycle. The important thing to do is to choose the path which best meets your needs and which best suits you and where you are on your learning journey. Here at Colossia Ciaran, we offer a number of different options and pathways for you to progress through your senior cycle. The purpose of this presentation is to outline the different paths you can take and to provide you with as much information as you need to decide on the path that you will take. Here in Colossia Ciaran, we offer a number of different pathways through the senior cycle, which cater for the various interests and learning requirements of our students. After junior cycle, students have the option of doing an optional fourth year in the school or transition year, which acts as a bridge between the junior cycle and senior cycle. Ms. Caffrey will talk to you later on in this presentation about this very engaging and enjoyable pro programme here in Colossia Ciaran. You can also choose to go directly from junior cycle into senior cycle, and here there are further choices. You can participate in the traditional Leaving Cert, which may include the Leaving Certificate Vocational Programme if you meet the programme requirements. Another path is the Leaving Cert Applied, or LCA, which provides another pathway to adult and working life, as well as further education. All these options will be explored in detail throughout our presentation. When making your decision, we strongly encourage you to talk with different people to help you to make an informed decision. We strongly encourage you to talk to people who know you, who know your interests, who know the type of learner you are. People such as your parents or guardians, the guidance counsellor here in the school, your teachers, the deputy principals, or indeed myself, the principal. Older siblings, cousins and friends who have already completed their senior cycle or who are currently undertaking one of the programmes may also be able to help you in your decision. We strongly encourage you to gather as much advice as you possibly can in order to make the best choice for you. Hello, my name is Barry McGettigan and I'm going to talk to you about subject options for the Leaving Cert. So out of the seven subjects that students typically do for the Leaving Cert, four of them are core subjects and they're Irish, English, Maths and then a language such as German or French. So with these four, typically the level that you're studying it at is going to be important. 
For Irish, you need higher level Irish if you're going to be a primary school teacher. And it's an essential subject if you want to go to the NUI colleges, for example, Maynooth University uh, or UCD. So for the NUI colleges, you must have at least an 06 in Irish unless you've got an exemption. So if you've got an exemption from Irish in second level, that carries through then to third level. Higher level maths is necessary to do engineering at honours degree level. Ordinary level maths is sufficient for past degree and higher certificate engineering in the Institutes of Technology. In general, maths isn't essential for arts and humanities courses. Higher level English will enhance answers in all other subjects, but it's not a general entry requirement for most courses. All universities require a pass in English, except DCU, which requires a pass in either Irish or English, and the ITs require a pass in English or Irish as well. Continental languages in College of we have French or German, and again, they're a requirement to pass level uh, for the NUIs. Again, things like Maynooth, UCT, UCC, uh, NUI Galway, and in colleges that are accredited by the NUI. There were some exceptions, for example, some engineering, business and science courses in Maynooth and science and engineering in UCD are exempt. Honours level is needed for individual courses. What I mean by that is if you're going to study French, for example, as a degree, then you need to be doing honours level French in your uh, leave insert. Here uh, is a quick overview of the options offered in College de Chiron. Art, Accountancy, Biology, Business, Chemistry, Construction Studies, DCG, Economics, Engineering, Geography, History, Home Ec, Physics and Music. History at a higher level needs English at a quite a high standard and it's a good subject to enhance analytical and research skills. Geography can be used as a second lab science subject when taking science at Trinity and it can be accepted instead of a lab science subject in a new course in Maynooth uh, called Biological and Geographical Sciences and also for common entry science only in UCD. Construction studies, engineering, DCG, uh, physics, they'll all enhance success in engineering but they're not essential for course entry. The three science subjects that we study in College of Chiron are chemistry, biology and physics and if you want to be a nurse then you need a lab science subject to do that and all science and some engineering degree, degrees require at least one science subject in the leave insert. Chemistry at higher level is recommended and indeed is sometimes necessary for courses like nutrition, uh, in other words to be a dietitian, medicine, dentistry, pharmacy and veterinary medicine courses. And two science subjects are necessary in some colleges for the above courses. For example, if you want to do medicine in Trinity or in UCC, you need two science subjects for that. Chemistry is required for the following courses. So if dentistry in Cork, human nutrition and dietetics in TU Dublin, medicine in Cork, pharmacy in RCSI, pharmacy in Cork, and medical and health sciences in UCC, and of course veterinary medicine in UCD. Sometimes students wish to take up art or music even though they haven't studied it for the junior cert. In these cases, what we'd do is we'd ask that you talk to your art or music teacher who will advise you further on that. The three business subjects that we study in College of Care are accounting, business and economics and a student can take up economics if they haven't studied business to junior cert. It's advisable for students opting for Leave Insert Home Ec to have completed the Junior Certificate course as some of the areas um, on the Junior Cert course are continued at Leave Insert level. So let's go straight to one of two websites that will help you with your research. The first one is called Careers Portal. A fantastic website with a wealth of information. So if we click on Communities and go right over to Leave Insert here and then click Leave Insert Subjects. It takes us to this page and divides Leave Insert Subjects into the Practical Group, the Science Group, the Artistic and Creative Group, the Humanities Group, Social Group and Business Group. You simply pick a subject that you want to find out more about. So let's look at Home Economics for the crack. And it takes us to this page. The first page is a summary of the subject, why you should study it, what kind of student would it suit? Recommendations and tips. If you like, you can look at the grades that have been awarded and that takes you through that. And you can also hear from people who have studied this subject as well.
It's a really, really excellent website. Gives you a quick overview of the course and then you can look more in depth then into the course content. Look at the exam structure and here it tells me that 80% of the exam is written, 20% is practical coursework and then the career possibilities coming from that as well. Absolutely fantastic website. Okay, and the second website that I wanted you to look at for your research is called Qualifax. Qualifax has got pretty much every single course at third level and also part-time courses as well in Ireland on it. So when you get to Qualifax, you click on the second tab up here that says Students. And then go over to the right hand side where it says Subject Choice. And then halfway down there, we click on this thing called Subject Requirements Module. And then we're going to look at the Leaving Cert subjects that, that are required for a third level. So that brings us to this last page. So up at the top here it says, show me third level courses which may or may not require the following subject. So let's put in our old friend Chemistry here and click Search. So it tells me there's 202 courses that match my requirements. The top one says that only seven courses definitely require chemistry. Let's look at that first. So I click on it and click View Courses. And it shows me these ones that we looked at earlier in the presentation. If I go back, again, I can choose a different subject. So let's take Business, for example, and click Search. So again, no courses you can see up here require business. Let's look at one more. Okay, let's take something like biology and click search. <clears throat> so again, there's five courses that definitely require biology. And then you see here that there's almost 200 that may require biology. Those are the courses that require a science subject. So if we look at the ones that definitely require biology, we can see that they're here. And when you click on them then, it takes you directly to the web page and it tells you exactly what you need to get into that particular course. So in wrapping up, uh, our general advice is to choose subjects that you enjoy doing. You're going to be far happier in school. The chances are you're going to do better in your Leave Insert because you're doing subjects you enjoy as well. If you'd like to talk to me at any stage, please email me guidance at college to Kieran, and we can arrange a Google Meet. Thank you very much. Hello, I'm Mr Cash and I want to talk to you about the Leaving Certificate Applied or LCA as it's often called. So what is the Leaving Cert Applied? Well, it's a two year Leaving Certificate programme aimed at preparing students for adult and working life. It rewards forms of achievement and excellence which the established Leaving Cert has not recognised in the past. So who would benefit most? Well, students who may not be catered for by other Leaving Certificate programmes or students who choose not to opt for these programmes. How can this programme help me? Well, it prepares students for adult working life. It recognises the talents of all students. The assessment is carried out across two years and work placement, this gives students an opportunity to experience four different working environments across the two years. The programme itself is divided into four sessions. Fifth year session one runs from September to January. Fifth year session two is from January to June. Session three is sixth year September to January. And finally, sixth year session four which runs from January to June. At the end of fifth year session one, you will be awarded credits for the work undertaken during that session. And these credits are carried on into fifth year session two, and also into sixth year session three, and finally into uh, sixth year session four. The programme itself is divided into three broad sections. The first is vocational preparation. The second is vocational education. And this involves maths 
and to specialism. Now, a specialism is normally uh, a practical subject that you will take, and we offer construction studies, uh, we offer hotel tourism and catering, and we also offer art. So this is really dependent on what resources are available to us during the year. And finally, we have general education, which involves art education, French, uh, Irish, leisure and recreation, and social education. It's also worth noting that um, the French and Irish are compulsory, even if you have an exemption. But the levels that these subjects are taken at is, is very, very doable. So I wouldn't be too concerned about um, taking on either the French or the Irish subject. The assessment then is carried out across two years and it amounts to 200 credits drawn from the three areas outlined here below. The first of these involves student task. Now, a student task is a body of work that you would undertake normally across maybe three to four weeks. And at the end of this, uh, you will write up a report and an examiner then will come out from the Department of Education and assess both you and your work. This will happen seven times across the two years. Uh, on the left then, we have uh, 62 credits going for the completion of modules. And a module then would just be uh, a normal class or a number of classes. But it's worth noting here that you must have a 90% attendance rate in order to get these credits. And finally then, in June uh, of sixth year, you will have a final examination with 68 credits going. It's worth noting here that the bulk of the marks going for the Leaving Cert Applied are gained in classwork not in the final exam. Certificate is awarded at three levels. A pass is from 60 to 69 percent, merit is from 70 to 84, and then distinction is from 85 to 100. In this slide here, we're going to look at the different career paths available to you. And starting with the Leaving Cert Applied itself, that has an NFQ rating of level four. Now, NFQ stands for the National Framework of Qualifications, and this is an organisation set up to oversee all qualifications that are issued on the island of Ireland. Okay. So, um, the first option you have there is go directly to a career. Uh, you have the option of going into the Gardaí or the Army, or a career path of your choosing uh, directly from the Leaving Cert Applied. You can then go uh, to a post Leaving Cert course, normally called PLC, and this uh, can end up with a qualification of five or six. And with that then, with your PLC, you can then go on to further education and uh, come out with a level seven to 10, and then on into a career from there. The final path available to you is with the Solace Apprenticeship Scheme, and this has a level six attached to it. So, as you can see from this slide here, there are many different paths available to you uh, through the Leaving Cert Applied. In this section of our presentation, we will begin to explore the Leaving Certificate Vocational Programme. The Leaving Certificate Vocational Programme is an optional programme that exists within the traditional Leaving Cert. And provided that you meet the relevant requirements to the programme, you can access this programme here in Colossus Ciaran. So, the Leaving Cert Vocational Programme is a has a focus on enterprise and preparation for working life. It's a two-year program which combines the academic strengths of the Leaving Certificate with a dynamic focus on self-directed learning, enterprise, work, and the community. In order to meet the program requirements for the Leaving Certificate vocational program, you must have at least five Leaving Cert subjects, one of which must be Irish, plus the link modules outlined below. Two of the above subjects must be selected from one of the designated vocational subject groupings, which we'll explore in the next slide. The two link modules, which are preparation for the world of work and enterprise education, must be fulfilled in addition to the five subjects. And a recognised course in a modern European language other than Irish or English. In our school, that, that means French or German, must be studied in order to access the Leaving Certificate Vocational Programme. In this slide, you will see the designated vocational subject groupings, which you must meet in order to access the Leaving Certificate Vocational Program. As you can see, there are 11 different groupings and the combinations must be met in order to access the program.
However, we strongly encourage you not to choose your Leaving Certificate subject on the basis of accessing the Leaving Certificate vocational programme. When choosing your subjects, we strongly encourage you to choose subjects which you are interested in and which you excel. And if the subject requirements fit, then we can look at the Leaving Certificate vocational programme as an option for you. But these subject combinations must be met, plus the criteria outlined in the previous slide, in order to access the programme. Upon completion of the Leaving Certificate vocational programme, you will be awarded either a pass, a merit or a distinction, the points of which and the percentages within are outlined here. As you can see, a pass will offer you 28 points, a merit will offer you 46 points and a distinction will offer you 66 points. When calculating your final CAO points, these points will be in addition to your five best subjects, provided that your sixth subject is lower than the points outlined in the Leaving Certificate Vocational Programme. Hello, Joanne Barry is my name, and I'm here today to represent the Additional Educational Needs Team. And I'm here to talk to you about how learning support is provided for senior students at Senior Cycle. Okay, so if you are registered with the AEN department, and you have been registered with us because you have an Irish exemption. That means you are not currently studying Irish and you attend one of our small groups that we um, offer here in Colossi de Ciaran. When you come into the senior cycle, into fifth year, you will be studying geography instead of Irish. So Colossi de Ciaran offers support through the curriculum at senior cycle. So when you come into fifth year, when you take a look at the timetable and you see where Irish has been timetabled, that is when we will run the subject of geography. And you will study that geography subject at either honours or ordinary level, whatever you're capable of. Um, we offer that subject, it continues on then into sixth year. So when you are making your subject choices for fifth year, it's very, very important that you remember not to pick geography as an option, as you will be studying it anyway instead of Irish. The second area that we provide support through the curriculum is, again, if you are a member of the AEN department, if you are registered with us and you do not study a language, you do not study German or French, and this reason is because of learning difficulties that you may experience. And it has been recommended at Junior Cycle that maybe you don't study um, German or French. Well, then we will be offering you the subject of LCVP at fifth year level. This subject um, has a number of different specifications attached to it. And if you go back on this slide presentation, in the bottom right hand corner, you might see slide 61. And the slide is entitled Designated Vocational Subject Groupings. What we recommend for you to do is look at that slide, look at the subject groupings that you must choose um, in order to take part in the LCVP programme. Otherwise, when you come in fifth year, and if you haven't looked at those groupings and if you haven't made your subject groupings in the correct manner that will allow you to access the LCVP course, you will not be able to take that subject as an additional subject, um, allowing you to gain the points that are associated with it. So it is very, very important that if you do not study French or German, that you look at the subject groupings choose your options according to those subject groupings, and then this will allow you to access the points that are associated with LCVP. And you will continue studying LCVP into sixth year. You will also, uh, during fifth year and sixth year, you will also receive learning support during one of the times that LCVP is timetabled on your timetable. LCVP will be run at the same time as French or German. All right, and you will attend a different class at that time. Uh, this learning support that you will be receiving, um, in addition to the, learn the LCVP programme, will be under the heading of um, study skills, maybe support with projects that you are taking part in in other subjects um, at fifth year or at sixth year level. Now, for LCVP, 
you are required to take um, French or German for one class in either fifth year or sixth year. And I know I've just said that you're not studying this subject, but it's part of the LCVP module. It is not of a very high standard, the French that you're going to be taking. Um, you will not be taking part in an exam. You just have to participate in a French class once a week in either fifth year or sixth year. And we will decide that when we have our resources and we take a look at our timetable um, next September. So it's very important to remember that when you are making your subject choices for fifth year, when you are picking your options, that you take a look at the combination of subjects that I've already mentioned, if you are not studying French or German and are going to take LCVP, and these subject combinations then, if they are correct, will allow you to access the points that are associated with the LCVP course. In September, if you have not made the correct choice of subjects, it is often very difficult for us to allow you to change your subject options, as most of the classes will have been uh, filled already by students from the rest of fifth year. So it's very important that you take a look at those subject options. If you have any questions regarding learning support provided at senior level, um, if you email me at jbarry at or if you want to contact the office, um, please do so.